Welcome in once again, guys. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Oh my God, the ban list is. Nah, just kidding, yo. Calm down. Calm down. That video's coming soon. I'm waiting on Konami, man. Where's Konami? <laughs> we all out here fearful, man. Banless fears and reprints are panicking the markets, guys. Banless and reprints are panicking and making investors be fearful right now. We don't know what to buy, what to sell. Jay, I'm buying this, I'm selling that. Guys, we need to unload. We need to unload. We're going to cover a bunch of cards in today's market watch, always providing that value, guys. If you can respect that, destroy that subscribe button right there. You can see it. You know what I'm talking about, guys. This balance has taken forever. This balance has taken forever. I don't even think this was the last one, guys. Was it April 15th? Damn. It might have, bro. Mage and uh, yeah, bro. We need a ban list, Konami. Come on now, late August. I don't see no, no nothing here. I seen anything. Man, I can't wait, bro. Your boy gets excited when that ban list comes out. She, yeah, I love volatility in the markets, bro. We ready, we ready, we ready. Let's go, man. Where's that ban list, Konami? Yo, I'm gonna need to make a call, man. Be like, yo, yo, Nami. Yo, when that ban is coming now, your boy needs to be ready. You imagine now, nah, man. Oh, hey, it's all fun and games, guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's get to it. Guys, reprint-wise, we're getting the 25th anniversary tin dueling mirrors. It's around the corner. This comes out in less than a month now, officially. Look, less than a month from now. Well, about a month from now. Yeah, I mean, 30 days. Guys, this is around the corner. Around the corner. The tins will be here before you wake up in a month from now, it'll be here. You're going to be able to go to your local, see your Walmarts, anywhere, order online, and you're going to be able, excuse me, guys, to pick this card, this, uh, this card up, this product up sooner rather than later. On Friday, your boy is buying his case. Your boy is buying his case. So if you, I'm going, I'm going to be giving away four tins on the channel three community member giveaways and one for the members if you want to participate in our 6k mega 10 giveaway destroy that subscribe button guys again reprints are coming guys reprints are just around the corner guys you need to keep it in mind look we're getting cards from pote from photon hypernova from Sayak, duelist nexus age of overlord maze of memories amazing defenders wild survivors and more man i don't think we've ever had a lineup look with more than four Hundy cards, man. It's been a couple of weeks since I talked about this product. Thought I would keep you guys informed. We got to keep it in mind. All these people out here sleeping. They're sleepwalking. Honestly, man, I love trading. I open people's binders and I see all these cards that are going to get reprinted. And they still got the OGs, man, still. All that value just dissipating, man. Hey, you know, hey, but we converting Billy Bob's out here. You know what I mean? That's our goal on the daily, man, because it's rough. It's tough, man. This is less than a month away we're gonna get all these reprints from all those sets many of the cards that we'll be talking about today guys so you need to sell early you need to sell early two three weeks ago we made a couple of videos saying a huge crash is coming and most of these crash i'm sorry cards have been crashing down and we're, we're about halfway man don't let the tens come out before those cards become worthless compared to the value that they had before you need to sell early i'm always look out for you guys you know what i mean and then bonanza we're not going to talk about bonanza today we've been talking about that we talked about um we speculated on the modern reprints that we think on the edison reprints and i need to do a goat one as well so stay tuned for that um jay but i don't play go i don't care about those old formats there's money to be made everywhere everywhere you don't need to play a format to not you know to be able to make money from it all right so it's all about you know that cash that's the mindset that i have but today's more about the tins so before we get to the tins guys engravers i heard I, i'm hearing a lot of people a lot of noise jerry you know sell your engravers because you know the ban list is coming and you know we saw that that konami said that most of these decks are getting hit and you bell's gonna get hit and snake eye and you know those are the decks that mostly play engraver and you know the card is going down to 80s into 70s into anything is possible anything is possible me, I got a play set. I'm willing to go down with the ship per se. Could this be a $75 card? Sure, it's possible. Could it be 125s? Of course, it's possible as well. I believe anything in between, you know, anywhere from 90 to 110, you're buying the right range. And you go down a little bit more in the 90s, 80s, and 70s, that's possible. 
Can you go up? You know, we were 115s the other day. Can we go hit 120s, 130s? Anything is possible, guys. So again, if you need the card, you pick it up now. I'm, I don't, guys. I'm tired of saying the same thing. In a sense, think ahead. I mean, if I'm already hearing people talking about all oh, this and that and the balance, that's too short term, man. This band is gonna come and go. The price, yeah, let's say it drops to 75. Okay, but what do you think it's gonna do after that? It's gonna go down to 50 dollars. A card that people need at places that will maintain relevancy into 2025. Guys, we need to be real. We need to be real, and we need to look at the charts. Right now, it's showing a, a technical lower low. We got to give it a couple of days. We got to give it a couple of days. The volume is still good. Okay, so we ain't panicking. Me, I'd be buy, buying this double bottom. Guys, I'd be buying this double bottom. That's just me. I picked up my third. Shout out to Dio Sama, my guy. Hook the brother up, and that's it. That's it, man. Look. Look at that. Look at that. We had some sales in the 80s, guys. Look, someone came in and bought a place at where is it i saw it around there where is it let me see was it okay 92s uh let's 87s look at that people buying this in the 80s guys i saw it people panicking panicking this is all bandless speculation literally all bandless specul speculation people panicking going wild like crazy just selling these cards don't be them guys don't panic sell don't be emotional oh my god i need to sell the band is gonna hit it's gonna hit this it's gonna hit that and then it's gonna affect no 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 this just came out konami's gonna support this for months and months and months into next year guys we've seen it happen every single year time after time these broken cards come out and they're good for months if not even a year at least a year maybe even more before they get the eventual reprint so you don't want to be that guy paying 125s and beyonds for this card because you were panic selling that's just my thought. Am I perfect? No. And I don't claim to be. Can this car go down? Yes. Anything is possible. We play the charts. And right now we're at a technical low. But, but you're starting to see. Look, that says 94s. Look at that. You got a one over here. But play sets are already pushing hundies. Already pushing back up to hundos. Yeah. Some people getting deals in the 80s. Slightly low 90s. Sure. It always happens. People want to take profits. Maybe they pulled the box. Open, cracked open a box. Um, they're not playing this card and they want to take profit. Yeah, that's all good and well. But the hype is going to come in post banlist for this card, I believe, because we all have our banlist expectations, but we don't know, man. Up here, right here, I think we're going to be getting one of these. You know, it might be tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully we get this next week. You know what I mean? Next week. Give us a couple of more days. You know, I like it, man. Anxiety's building up, man. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait. Then when that banlist hits, mm, mm, man, I'm going to have fun with that. I don't know why. Usually, like, Bandless videos doesn't do well for the channel. I don't know why, man. <clears throat> you know, every time I do a Bandless video, it's, like, underwhelming. I don't know. I guess the big channel suck. You know, the, the you know, you guys, and you don't watch your boy Jet. Nah, nah, I'm just messing. Guys, guys, we have Red Geki. Tenpai Dragon is taking over the meta. Getting tops and YCSs and regionals, you name it, locals everywhere. People main decking Red Geki in Tenpai. The volume is here, but don't forget, we're literally getting, it says here, Raigeki. We're getting Raigeki in the tins in less than a month. In less than a month, we're getting this card. Jay, but it's only $5. I could care less. I'm going to hold down with, yeah, but if the card goes from $5 to $1, that's 5x purchasing power that you're leaving on the table. And look, the walls are pushing sixes. 32 listings only. Tenpai is bringing this card's price up immensely. You want to sell into this hype. You only got a couple of weeks left because we're under a month before the, the tins come. We're going to get a beautiful, beautiful alternate art right Gekki that I want. But I would have this card be dumping. And right now, that's just me. Make sure you guys keep that in mind. So, now, guys, we're going to talk about the sets that we mentioned that are coming out in the tins um, because that's the more recent reprint set. That is coming in less than a month now. Just a couple of the best-selling cards of, you know, starting with Power of the Elements and a couple of sets that were mentioned, um, you know, that, that are coming soon um, in the tin. So, again, we're going to highlight a couple of these cards. Um, you know, I want to focus today in, in, in max rarity, high rarity, because we've been talking about a lot of these cards, guys. But I want to focus on the high rarity plays today um, just to mix things up. So, we have Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix, Enforcer. Starlight Rare, we get it. Evil Hero Hype heroes going wild we understand look at the volume coming in but this card it says 183s the price of this used to be 
a whopping two hundred and seventy one dollars. So it's already down a hundy, a hundo per copy, guys, already. And this is the beginning. This is the beginning, guys. This is it. This is the beginning, guys. It's coming. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Me, I've been dumping this. There's no way this is, doesn't get a quarter century in Rarity Collection 3. There's no way. No way. Phoenix, this dude, Enforcer, Destroyer. You know what I mean? Destiny Hero. Damn, I said the name backwards. No way. He doesn't get a reprint in Rarity Collection 3. A quarter century? That's coming, man. A hero card? Man... Man, come on now. I mean, there's no way to know 100%, but I wouldn't risk it. I'd take this 160. Shit. Man. I'm going to move on. We have Kuri card, Divine Carnate, man. This card is dumping down. I said if I see this at Fitties, your boys was going to want these cards. Look, Char hasn't even updated. 117s destroyed. These are a couple of deals. The card quickly becomes 70s, 60s, and then 70s, guys. So those are, <clears throat> excuse me, are deals. <laughs> for sure right there look they even got gobbled up since i pulled this up wow i mean damn i was even thinking about it in the 40s i mean damn where's the sales though oh uh, they probably unlisted those but guys the whole point is um 60 dollars. we said this was gonna hit 50 beans you saw that there was a couple listed there at 40s um and yeah this card went from triple digits to double digits we told you guys when it was like 150s we said run for the hills cards getting reprinted and uh, got the first reprint on Battles of Legend, um, Terminal Revenge. And then more reprints coming, probably in the tins as a prismatic. Told you guys to run for them hills. So again, if you, look, if you have the secret rare by any chance, this secret rare by any chance, psh, this one, I'd be selling, man. I'd be selling this. Recently reprinted, you wait for the tins. If the tins come out and this is not in there, that's fine. You can rebuy it back up, you know, if you really need it. And the OTs. Or Chillin' McMillan at 15 beans right there. 15 bones. That is not bad for an OT Divine Carnet. I mean, I'm just waiting for um, the tins. If this doesn't come in the tins, your boy's coming for the multis. We have Vernal Sylph of the Flourishing Hills. Let's go run for them hills. Uh, this card is what? Look at that. This thing was $2, two thirties. Went all the way up to eight over eight retracing back down to the mean but holding that five dollar level strong guys you need to keep in mind five bucks that's money compared to the price of this card when it gets reprinted in the tens don't let this be a dollar before you decide to move this i'd be moving this now you know this is a healthy retracement but the reprint wave is coming don't hold too long favorite contact another one a hero card getting massive a massive volume spike thanks to new evil hero support as we can see, the card was as, was what was at an all-time high of seven dollars and seventy-eight cents, and went all the way down to five dollars, as we can see here. But again, I'd be selling this. Why? Reprint season comes in pote, single print. So you're telling me this is not coming in the tins, bro? Let's be real. Let's be real with each other. This thing is getting reprinted in the tins, and you don't want to be that guy leaving a five dollar. Most of these cards we've been talking today are five bucks, from five to. The 250 that's 50% of your value down the drain. You don't want that to happen. Oh, wait, but it went from five to a billy. Nah, man. Oh, come on. Worst case, you can get five of these. You sell one today, you get five tomorrow when these hit billies and this gets reprinted. Iconic card. I won't lie. Love the artwork. Great effect. Single print. We got it. You sell now and you reap the rewards later. We have Sprite Elf. People are speculating. From Power of the Elements, I don't think this card is coming back. The card is too broken. I won't lie, it just is, but people don't care. Look at that. The card was a buck, a billion, some change, and it's been going parabolic ever since, especially with Sprite making moves in the meta as a role contender. Um, and it says 768. You know, this card is moving on up. Almost $8 a pop, guys, as we can see here. Clean this up janitor style. Have a couple of one ofs, but yeah, man, the card, 35 uh, listings here just going parabolic crazy massive volume spikes a lot of people speculating on this card still a single print i mean they could unlock it to one and then reprint it into 10 so that's possible um yo your boy i'd be happy bro i won't lie your boy ready play sprite so she can we use an elf for sure for sure you know what i mean so that'd be nice i don't see it happening but the markets they don't care speculation for this card for sprite elf is at all-time highs then moving on to photon hypernova a booster box look at this thing recently i had no clue one of the best-selling cards of the set 
Look at that. Yeah, why? Because Photon getting support. Guys, don't buy this common. Watch this get an ultra in the tins. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. You need to be selling most of these cards, guys. Guys, we told you to sell this card at $40, 50 bucks, and now a sevens. It was 13s the other day we were talking about. It. We need to recycle that purchasing power, guys. Hey, we got to protect that capital, man. This ain't... Don't play games out here, man. This is your money we talking about, man. Grand all the Dusk Dragon. Starlight Rare from a uh, 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 Photon Hypernova. This one, you're telling me this is not getting a QCSR. Used to be a Hundies. Went up to 168s. Now down to 145s. This is when you sell. This is when I would be selling. Can this be 200, 250 plus? Sure. But again, I personally think that the Rarity Collection 3 has a quarter century seeker for this. Konami wants to make every branded card a quarter century secret rare. I believe that this card is coming in the Rarity Collection 3. That's just my belief. There's no way no one knows, right? It's all speculation. But me, I wouldn't take the risk of... By the way, this card is beautiful. It is, man. It is. Hopefully, it does come in the Rarity Collection 3. Um, And uh, just look at that. I hadn't known like the artwork. I rarely stop and look at the artwork. But is that Cartesia or is that Quem? Or who that? I don't know about the lore, guys, but uh, but that looks fresh off the press, just like the channel. Card quickly goes up to 150s, but that just holding the line right there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, me? Be dumb, but it's reprint season, man. Galaxy Photon Dragon, another one that needs a reprint. Look at this card. Used to be three billies. Wow. A parabolic advance move thanks to Photon hype and support coming. Going literally from three billies to eight. Insane. You have a couple of one ofs here. The R06 is at $7, so this card is officially 7 billies right now. 25 listings, 3 pages only. I'm telling y'all, damn, look at Photon Jumper. Crazy. It's from none of these sets, but, man, this Photon High. Woo! Man, what a parabolic advanced move. I think I have a couple of these, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, going from quarters to billies. From shekels to billies, man. We were talking about this card when it first came out. And we told you guys it was a great penny stonker. Look at that. Quarters yesterday, Billy's today, right there. Look at that. You have a play set there after that. Two bones. Two bones a pop. Five pages, only 41 listings, guys. People coming in in droves. Look at that. Getting their play sets. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's $250, man. What the? Where's, where's my guy, man? I haven't seen him around in a little while, man. Let, let's show some love. Ah, uh, look at that. We got them double Billy Bobs right here, man. Right here. We got Thornton on the right, and we got Billy Bob on the left. Look at that, man. Shh. I mean, nah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm lying, man. I'm playing. That, that's, that's a solid. That's a solid. His $5, man, that he'll be eating good for sure, but it's kind of steep, honestly. You know what I mean? Um, But, hey, hey, high risk, high reward play. Volume is coming in. Over 169 copies sold recently. That is on a weekly though. That is weekly volume, but still at all time highs for Photon Jumper, guys. Insane. This spike going on in the Marcus Photon hype. We have Cash Tira Rizar, another band card that has re recently made a yearly all time high, guys. Insane. A card that was three, almost four billies now, three X. And look at that. $13 quickly goes up to 14s, then 15s. Three pages only, 29 listings. A lot of opium, you know. In cash tier land, in cash tier world, nah, man, I, I don't see this coming. Maybe the one, but the card is too broke. The card is too, too broken. It got banned for a reason, um, and it should stay banned, in my humble opinion. Um, and uh, yes, Photon Hypernova. I mean, you imagine they reprint this, lock it a one. You just never know. Big welcome labyrinth. It's about time this card gets reprinted in the tins. Look at that. We were talking about this at 15s, then it went down to 13s. We we're telling you guys to sell. And now we've had sales at seven in the seven dollar range, guys. And look, it is nine bucks. Volume is coming in because people need it. They want to compete. They want to go to regionals. They want to go to YCSs. I understand. But at the same time, told you guys to sell this at 50s, then at 30s, then at 20 to 15s, and then 13s and now and now at nines. I mean, how many times am I going to repeat myself? This card is going to be, I told you guys, it was going to be first single digits. Here we are now. Then I told you it was going to be sub five billies, and that's going to happen in the next week or two. 
Jay, but I play Labyrinth, but I need... Man. Play La Labyrinth without big big welcomes. Now, nah, you imagine? Nah, me... Psh, I mean, uh, hey, me, I sell, bro. I'm like, bro, 30 days? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Oh, let me play uh, Dinos for, for three weeks, and then I'll pick up the Prismatic Secret <laughs> reprint um, when it comes out. Then we have uh, Cyberstorm Axis, guys. Sayak, guys, has amazing cards. We're just going to touch base on a couple of the higher-end plays here. Um, but I expect most of these cards to get reprinted very, very soon. Um, so keep that in mind. So we have Guiding Quem the Virtuous, guys. This card was 145s, went up to 182s, now back down to 142s, 150s here. Again, me, this is going to be double digits. This card will be double digits. It's just consolidating before the eventual downfall. And look, this card used to be 250 bones. And now it's 150 so it's down $100 a copy. Don't be that guy holding this card. You know now, and then watch it go down 50% half off discount around 75s. I mean, that'd be a big drop. I won't lie. But guys, guys, sell pressure. We already know it's been confirmed that we're getting a prismatic secret rare. What do you think is going to happen when this gets its prismatic secret? And eventually, it'll get a quarter century somewhere. If not the tens, then the rarity collection three, my humble opinion, guys. Because uh, Konami wants a quarter century secret rare, all, you know, branded stuff. So again... It's not the time to hold this card. Hasn't been the time, man. Take advantage of this consolidation. Sell into the sideways um, movement. And, you know, before you get yourself caught selling this card in the double digit range. Then we have Firewall Dragon Singularity. Starlight Rare. Now this one, wow, spiking up from 27s. Says 35s. Wrong. 70 bones. A couple of one ofs. And then it's triple digits, guys. 10 listings only. One page only. Guys, and if we clean this up without the LPs, is in single digit listings, man. Insane parabolic advanced move for this card with the latest sale at $55. I'm telling you guys, man, it's rough. It's rough. It's tough if you need this card. But, uh, hey, Cyber's getting support. I mean, well, what else can we say? What else can we say? It's coming, man. Malice is coming. People picking up their links. I don't know. There's. I feel like there's just so many broken links and stuff. How do they put these into the extra deck i don't even know man we have despian lulu low with here again another one still holding 70s you go to the yearly look at that this card used to be 175 dollars but if you check the price 58 bones man it quickly goes back up to 60s and then 65 70s but again i'd be selling man i'd be selling down here before this starts going into falling knife mode that's just me you do as you please guys and then we're gonna get into duelist nexus guys duelist nexus right here right now after these short commercials guys guys make sure you link in the description down below go get your 15 dollar off guys 15 dollars off right here right now look let me just put this right here let me just put this right here man i don't know why this thing keeps just signing off i'm um, right here but guys 15 dollars off 15 bones man come on now come on now 15 dollars off link in the description down below don't miss out. Discord's popping off over 500 people up in there. You don't want to be that guy that misses out. And we have an investment guide, guys. Investment strategy. Link in the description down below. Five-minute read. You can't get go wrong with that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. If we see this here, if we see this here, sleeves. What do you want? You want singles? You want sealed? What do you want? You want infinite forbidden? Sayak, we're just talking about it. Don't buy that now. <laughs> Wait until the tin comes out. But you guys get what I mean. You can come in here and get goodies, sealed product, the latest and greatest, infinite forbidden boxes, whatever you need, guys. We got it for you. We got it for you, man. $15 off right here, right now. You guys don't want to miss out. Jay, I don't want none of that. Okay, we got a Billy Bar right here for you. Five available at the time of recording. You don't want to be that guy that misses out. Because the Rewave, I don't even know when that's coming, guys. So take advantage of that. Guys, destroy that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell if you respect what we do here. We continue to shatter records. Look at that. 5.59. Nah, let's refresh. Look at that. Officially, we cracked the 5.6K barrier on our way to 5.75 and eventually 6K. If you want tins, if you want to be one of our giveaway winners, destroy that subscribe button right now if you're listening to me. Double check. Double check for your boy. Just double check that you're subscribed so you can participate in our 6K Mega 10 giveaway. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. And uh, if you're listening right now, share it with a friend. If you have a buddy, just share our uh, the, the videos here. Share the channel. 
you know, make him subscribe so we can continue to convert Billy Bob's out here on the daily because this is what we do for a living, guys. None of this content is official financial advice. It's for entertainment. Put the purchases early. Uh, 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 Jay, come on now. Guys, we have Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. This card used to be 157s. Used to be 157s before that. Wow, I went from 60s all the way to 157s and now back down to 88s. Insane volatility for this card. Me, I'd be dumping this right now. Right now. This card is getting a reprint. Reprints cost, sell pressure, even to the most expensive cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're, they're, look, Jay, why are you talking about? Show us evidence. Look at that. It's just an example. Look at this, man. Look at it. Watch this. Watch this. Go to the starlight. Man, come on. Man. CG player, bro. I don't know why they do that. Where is it? Man, where's that starlight? There we go. Look at that. This thing used to be $2,000. And they messed this chart up. This thing used to be $2,000. And today, man, all these weird listings. Come on now. And today the card is 600 And it used to be $2,000 bands two bands bro i'm telling you man and look now this is in the 600s we're, we're a place at right there guys what you think happened to this card cell pressure cell pressure it got reprinted in the alternate rqcsr um and 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 in the rarity collection and all these reprints cause cell pressure in the highest of and most expensive rarity to date starlight ram so again what do you think is going to happen to this QCSR? What is going to happen? You you tell me. This is going to be sub $50. Easy. Don't be that guy holding on to this card. And much less this one. That's crazy. We called that one. Re Rev Synchron, who owns this card? Please. This card used to be 164s and now it's about to enter falling knife mode after breaking the previous low. Oh my lord. Guess I'm late to the party. Try hasn't even been updated. That's crazy. In the 30s. Quickly goes up though. Extremely hard to get still this card, but wow. Hey, if you ain't running from them hills yet and you have this, damn, that's rough. We have Crimson Dragon, Quarter Century Secret. These were 97s, bumping up to Hundies. And there's Shelly McMillan there just waiting for you guys to sell. Waiting, but Jay, I play Centurions and that's my favorite deck. And I want this card and it looks beautiful. If you want this card to sell now, it's going to 50 bucks and you can get two in two to three months and you'll thank me later. Listen to your boy, man. Listen to your boy. Look at that. The walls are starting to come in. I'm telling you. That's how it starts. No one sees it coming. Then they wake up one day. This card is 50 bones. And then they could have gotten two if they sold today. Just keep that in mind. Quarter century secret rare Tuku Sano Shink Yojin. Guys, this card is spiking up. Spiking up from 20s to 24s. Lies. $41. <laughs> By the way, I mean, it hasn't been updated. You know, charge never lie, man. Men lie, women lie, charge don't lie. Guys, 12 listings only at 40 billies. 40 billy owns right here. Shh. I mean, hey, it's between 40 to 50s. Two pages only, 12 listings. Again, this used to be a $20 card, a $20 bill. You used to got in one of you, and now you need a 220s to just get one up 100%, guys. So, uh, yeah. We have Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. Um, this card spiking up a little bit. But look, look, if we come here, used to be 55, 56s, went up to 86s. But before that, it was triple digits. And now we're at 68s, giving you guys opportunities. The tens is reprinting most of these cards and some of these will also get their quarter century secret rares please please don't hold on to all this value jay but i play chimeras and i love the deck and you know and it's very effective and i want to keep my card <laughs> okay 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 buddy okay billy bob you know do your thing man do your thing me i'd be dumping this man to the market's card is beautiful we understand but there's no time for that reprints are coming people panicking you sell now so that the panic, hey, panic buyers out there. Oh, my God. Card is cheap. I'm going to get it now. That's what you need to sell to the people that are not educated and don't know that this card is getting reprinted. They're not educated because they don't watch the channel. So you need to share this video. You need to like this video. You need to subscribe um, so that we can save as many Billy Bobs as possible. Then we have Little Night. Little Night. Wait, there was another one, guys. My back. 
My bad. Look at it. Dark Corridor. I wanted to talk about this card. My bad. Look. Look at it. QCSR used to be $50 and now 20s. Now 20s. What do you think? This is going to be single digits. This quarter century secret is going to single digits. 15s is the first stop, then single digits. No one's playing Dark World. It's just a reality. No one's playing Dark World. It is what it is. No demand for this card. A reprint's coming. I don't. Who's holding on to this? Who owns this card? The regular secret. Look at that. Used to be double digits. Look at that. The other day, crashing down to six dollars. Telling you, man, all this value dissipating. And sometimes people they just don't see what's coming. Reprints, man. They're just too impactful. Then we have AGOV, Age of Overlord, one of the best. Yu-Gi-Oh! core sets of all time, especially in recent memory. So many broken high-end cards here, best-selling cards right now insane. We've mostly touched base on these recently, so I'm going to focus on the higher-end rarities for some of these. So let's dig in. We have SP Little Knight, Quarter Century Secret Rare. This card used to be six hundies, and now crashing down into the three hundos right here. Play sets coming in again. Can I see this go down to 250s? For sure. The card is still extremely hard to get. It's still very well needed. But again, reprints and sell pressure coming in for most of these. And then for some of these, even balance speculation. So again, you get that double whammy, triple whammy feel here. Bandless, tins, and bonanza. Rarity Collection 3. That triple whammy style. You, hey, hey, triple whammy status, man. You got to, hey, run for them hills, man. Don't be that guy that this is, you see this going up and then boom, curve down and you're caught holding that bag. Um, you know what I mean? Of course, if you need the card, if you're going to stay with, I get it. I get it. But still, the whole point is if you would have sold that 400 and this card is 200 one day, you can get two of these. That's the power, the power. You're like, no, I'm fine. I'm not going to get rid of mine. And you know, I'm, I'm happy. And this one will lose less value because it's the highest rarity. And this guys, the whole point is, that things are over worth overvalued here and then eventually they get undervalued down here but you want to sell up here so you can buy more when the card is undervalued we have superstar slayer typhon sky crisis look at that this one again again used to be what used to be two two fourteens two twenties and now says one's fifty nines wrong one forties right here one forties right here right now so again this is just the beginning this is going to double digits this card is going to double digits if you have this card, you sell early. Either this or the Ultra, just I'm talking about the higher rarity today, but you guys get the gist of it. Most of these cards will continue to go down. Imseti, Glory, Glory of Horus, a hundy. A hundy. Why? Because people playing this in uh, Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. We understand. I'm sorry, not Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. <laughs> gimmick Puppets. People playing this um, engine. It's being used right now. That's the only thing keeping this card's price up. This is going to be double digits very, very soon. Might be even 50 bones one day, so keep an eye out for that card. Diabell Star, the Black Witch, same deal. Same deal. Look, used to be two hundies. And look at that. In the 80s, guys, getting destroyed, crashing down as we speak. I'm telling y'all, the reprint fears, the bandless fears, they're out here. Look at that. Two, threes, threes, eights. Cell pressure coming in. Don't let this be sub 50, sub 40s before you decide to pull the trigger on this one then we have wanted sinker 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 oh we're playing baseball here guys seeker of sinful spoils quarter century seeker rare again 63s is gonna hit sub 50s and then it's gonna hit 40s and 30s and you're gonna be caught holding that back if you don't get rid of this sooner rather than later then we have again maze of memories we recently touched based on wake up your elemental hero telling you guys to sell this to sell this but a, a, a couple of you guys were like jay um but we need you we, we need you to cover you know the cr well what do you do if you have the cr the higher rarity so let's talk about a couple of maze of memory cards here so again wake up your elemental hero but the cr version that i didn't cover last time this used to be 37s went up to 50s that's cute and all that's good and well but this is when you sell man that, hey hey that sounded good to the ear that, that's, that's rhyming right guys guys at fitties you sell now then you buy at 25s if you really want this version um sometimes i don't i don't know how else to say it man same for axel synchro starters dragon card used to be at one point triple digits and now 25 bucks down 4x 
down 4x. And the funny thing, it's not done. It's going to first hit the teens, maybe even the single digits. Don't be that hot guy holding on to this card. Then we have, uh, you know, Wild Survivors. Again, there's nothing here. Maybe a Ground Zeno, which we're going to touch base in, the, in a little bit. And then we have a uh, Vanquish Souls that are have been waiting years for a reprint, it feels. Um, but all these cards are going down because people expect reprints for, you know, most of these cards. And again, me, Ground Zeno, I can't believe this thing is still holding value. And 19. Who's playing this card? You don't see Dinos anywhere anymore. Not even as Rogue. Who is playing this card? I don't understand, man. Dino Morpheus? I doubt it. I mean, you just don't know. You just don't know. 19 bucks, 20 bucks after tax. You're getting the supply. Come in, guys. Here. Sal, don't let this be single digits before you move these if you even have these cards. Same for Amazing Defenders. Most of these, again, McConkos, Rescue Ace, everything here is going to dump. Everything is going to dump. So you want to start moving these sooner rather than later. You don't want to be that guy that gets caught. Look at that. Rescue Ace Hydrant CR. Used to be 30 bones. Now it's actually going up to 40. You know why? Because people are hyping up Rescue Ace post bandless. They think that Snake Eye is getting hit and this and that. And the next best deck or engine with Fiendsmith would be Rescue Ace if Snake Eyes uh, gets demolished. So again, bandless hype is here for this card. Pushing up to crazy prices. What I want you guys to take from this, you sell into this hype. You sell into this hype. You can sell up here. That would be great. You know what I mean? Listings are going low. Ice right, so people coming for this card. Same for Turbulence CR. Right here. We go to the yearly. It says 20 bucks. That's where it's at right now. So again, if you if you hey, three pages only, 22 listings. Just keep in mind that this card might get reprinted soon as well. I believe, humbly, that this is the consolidation before the second leg down, the next leg down, crashing this card into the dumpsters sometime soon and again if you made it this far into the video you deserve the gems if you have this card rescue eight hydrant from amazing defenders or from a billy 74 to five dollars you have a couple of one ups but play sets are at six billy's pushing sevens and eventually double digits three pages only 29 listings probably most of you guys weren't aware that rescue eight hydrant was making moves probably not but that's what i'm here for to keep you guys informed on the daily guys so that's what we're here if you have this card, you have money that you didn't know. Um, I wanted to highlight that for you. Listings are going low. A lot of hype. A lot of speculation over Rescue Ace making a comeback into the meta. Me? I'd wait for the reprints. This is getting reprinted in the tin soon in less than a month. Patience wins this game so that we can maximize our purchasing power, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this market watch, guys. As always, on the daily, we continue to break records. We continue to shatter the mold here with daily market watches guys daily market watches right here look at that you guys are amazing look videos 10 hours in already has 1.5k view views man you guys are just mind-boggling and the only reason this one's down is because I, it was a double upload you know what i mean look at this 2k bangers all thanks to you guys bro we got 2k people watching we must be doing something right she i mean that's 2000 views man your boy made it man your boy's famous Hey, but we're going to stay tried and true, baby. You guys already know since day one, tried and true, humble. We never change. If you see me in person, you guys already know. If you've seen me in person, we're that same dude. I'm that same dude. You know what I mean? I love when people come up, man, say hi, maybe sign this, maybe do this, do that. You know, I always had, I had a great time in the regionals and I'm looking forward to H-Town. Hit me up, man. If y'all from Texas, H-Town, hit your boy up. You know what I mean? A Discord. Let, let, let's link up. You know, I'm, I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that. And if you do, destroy that subscribe button right there. Ring that bell so that you can stay tuned um, to our fresh off the press content, guys. So again, channels booming is all thanks to you guys. Um, 6K giveaway. Tins. Tins, guys. Four beautiful shiny mega tins coming to a theater near you. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe you can't make this stuff up hopefully you guys enjoyed this longer you know market watch compared to the last couple of days it's just been a grind but wanted to sneak this 40 minute video up in here just to give you guys that quality content you know for a little bit longer so hopefully you guys continue to enjoy we've been on a roll lately we have been on a roll look at that we're back to back 2k videos we hadn't done that in 
in a while. And look, in the na in the last four or five days, three 2K videos. The channel is booming. These were close as well. And it's all thanks to you guys, man. It wasn't that long ago that getting 2K was hard again, man. It's crazy. I'm just grateful. I'm out here ranting towards the end of the video because I'm just grateful with you guys. I'm eternally grateful. Um, and uh, I need to stop ranting, man. Let me let me let you guys do what you guys do. Say it with your boy. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Be supporting for your attention. Stay fresh. <laughs>